What is going on guys? Wiser here, bringing you the recap of the last war for 2.0. Uh, it was a random matchup against this level 8, uh, I guess, international clan. Um, looked, uh, I can't really tell what the writing was. Maybe some sort of Korean or something. I'm not sure, to be honest. But it uh, wasn't much of a matchup. They missed quite a few of a, uh, attacks. So uh, we'll just jump right in here. I'm going to make this a quick one. 102 to 77 for 2.0. So good job. Uh, missed a couple and missed number one and two didn't grab those two stars But we do have a few th10 triples a couple on seven and eight there They had a huge th10 advantage, um, but we ended up cleaning up we got uh, three th10 triples to show you so that is awesome uh, And I'll show you a couple of nines as you can see they had so many uh, So many tents also what was unfortunate about this war? Um, was that I lost a lot of the replays because of the stupid random update and um yeah so that sucks but uh the cool thing about this war was uh, invictus doing an arranged matchup and we have uh, it was a very small war so a bunch of the Invicta guys came up so we could have a, a larger war here in 2.0 so that was cool uh getting to all the Invicta boys coming up uh that was great don't get to war with them much anymore so uh always a pleasure to war with those guys and uh, yeah, it sucks we lost a lot of the replays because there was a lot of good attacks in here. Uh, let's just jump right in. I've been blabbing for too long here already. Um, and check out KNX's triple here on number six. <clears throat> so typical KNX fashion suicide hero qual Ladlo. Yeah, quad Lalo. Sounded like I have, had a list there. Um, but a little bit of a difference drops two giants with that king the reason he does that is because that queen is in there so deep uh he really just needs he knows his king is going to need a little bit of extra time to get into that queen so that's what the giants are for so as you can see he's just starting to really take damage now so he rages it up gonna get locked on to the defensive queen boom 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 and down she goes uh, really, the job's done because uh, Lava Hound and Loon come out of the CC. So immediately, KNX starts dropping his Lava Hounds. One, two, three. A few balloons coming in on each defense, right? Uh, there goes that CC Lava Hound. And another balloon backing it up with four more loons backing it up. Hastes are going to come down. Here they are. One, two, three. Pushing everything in with that double freeze. It's about to go down. There it is. Gets two Teslas and the Inferno. Alert, so that is awesome. Uh, this spot of air defense is about to go down. Really, the only air defense is on that four o'clock position that's remaining. So if he can just get through this core, uh, that's all he has left to left to get. And look, he's got three Lava Hounds moving over the one air defense. So that's going to buy his lose plenty of time as they move through this rage, move through the core, getting everything kind of pushing down. Uh, I think his loons take a bit of a hike. Oh, he ends up losing these ones. Wizard Towers are doing some serious damage in there, actually. Um, but he ends up pulling this one through because I think he barely gets this Wizard Tower down. One more hit. Yup, down it goes. Uh, and then has just enough. Oh, no, he loses that balloon. Crazy. But I, he must have just enough for this what, la, last remaining Wizard Tower and two Archer Towers crazy this was a close one this one this one must have been real close on time because this hound uh, isn't going to burst either so <clears throat> really doesn't have that many pups around the base but it's tanking for the one balloon that's remaining <laughs> nice one k and x i can't believe you pulled this one out damn you are superman three stars in the bag nice job buddy Right, a couple more here. We got Mark going in on 11. Uh, another very nice attack, actually. Uh, quad Lalo, Suicide, everything the exact same as KNX. Two freezes, right? Five hastes. Uh, gonna go ahead and swap in the giant with a, and his king. Gonna lock onto that queen almost immediately. There she comes. Catches the tents and he's gonna rage it up. A few swipes to that queen and she is donezo. Uh, his queen is also locked onto that uh, air defense. Down it goes. So looking real good at this point. Goes ahead and sends in his air attack. Two hounds on that first air defense. Three, three, three on all his balloons. Another hound. Three, three, three on his balloons. Another hound. Three, three. Nice job. Nice job on all that deployment. Here come the hastes. One, two, three, and four. Going to push everything kind of into that core. Freeze goes down. Gets a Tesla and the Inferno. Looking good. He's got a nice pack of balloons right in on top of that. Boom. Down goes that first Inferno. Freeze goes down on that other Inferno. Just got to get through those Teslas. 
It's got a huge another clump of balloons with these three lava hounds that are all about to burst. Here comes some black mines gonna burst some of those lava hounds. It's exactly what he needs. If he can get all three to burst this raid, it's it's pretty much a super fast GG because he has all these pups just everywhere doing cleanup. So when those hounds don't burst, it makes it a little dicey on the cleanup. But as you can see, last air defense is now down. Really, there's only four defenses remaining at this three o'clock. Marcus just rips this one up. I love it. Oh, excuse me. A few more buildings. Three stars. Sexy, Mark. All right. Maddie Boy going in on number 13. <clears throat> so, I mean, again, like, not that this isn't a max base. A lot of Town Hall 9 defenses, but you know this is still not an easy base at all to three star but uh matt kind of brings a just matt brings a stone a th10 stone lalo um would really crazy we're bring, gonna, gonna bring a three golems here i think you, yeah three golems here opens up the wall gonna let everything in he really just wants to get down that inferno tower get all the uh get that air defense in this huge chunk of defenses jeez and once all these defenses kind of get taken care of he's gonna go ahead and drop the jump get his king in there he really wants to just take down that defensive queen and, and, and get to this inferno tower if you can get to this inferno tower he's got three llama hounds and what i loved about this attack he does this with only 14 balloons you see kane and, and um you know mark do that attack uh, with 28 balloons right so that is quite a difference this is half the amount of balloons so he, that means he has to get half uh, double the amount of um damage done here with this kill squad so uh but it's, it's taking care of everything right the cc is now down uh really his queen just has to step in and take down that inferno and and their job is complete and i think the rage manages to save the day the rage is up the queen here any second now doesn't even need it for the inferno I know the rage. Oh, to get the town hall. That's right. So really, I and the, and the queen gets the town hall here. So really solid value on that kill squad. Maybe not quite double the amount. Uh, but what I love here is the loon deployment. Just boom, boom. Like this is just almost like town hall nine fashion right now. Um, just few on all these outer defenses. Balloons are going to start moving in. He's got a freeze and four haste still for the one. Really, he's, he's just going to go down right over this expo and the inferno tower with that freeze. Any second now. And the Tesla. There it goes. Oh, just missed it. A little bit off in that freeze. Could have got a huge value on that freeze. Doesn't matter. Hastes are all over the place. These balloons are moving in on these last handful of defenses. There is only one air defense remaining, and all these balloons just push their way right over top of it. There's no way that air defense can take down all of that in time. Boom. It is down. One more back end balloon here on that archer tower. It's clean up. Look at the pups all over the back of this base. Has so many pups up. Ridiculous. Nice job, Matty boy. Oh, army camp. All right. So I think I'm only going to show just one town hall nine attack. Uh, maybe I got two here, actually. Who do I got? Yeah, Rob. Rob brings a sweet little three Valk attack. Um, I thought this is very clever. <laughs> one jump, three heals. Um, doesn't bring three Valks, my bad. I'm pretty sure he brings max Valks in his CC, uh, which I thought was a cool little addition because he yeah, does only have level three Valks. Um, so it is a nice little improvement to have those max Valks. Uh, Rob's just going to kind of open all of this up and then send in these Valks at this jump and get right into this core. He's got heals and just everything to take care of that whole piece of core, right? So it sends in the test Valk, looking pretty good. So he's going to send in the rest of the Valks. Down comes his CC full of a uh, couple more Valks. Three Valks of Giant in that CC. That's kind of cool. Um, so everything's moving in. The Valks are going to start taking care of these sections. got three heals, remember. Boom. He's going to send in a couple Hogs to kind of help push everything back into that core. Make sure all those defenses go down. He probably didn't even need to drop those Hogs. Heal goes down for those Valks. going to really get to that Queen. Everything locks on to that Queen. Boom. Looking good at this point. Another heal is going to go down as soon as this town hall goes down. 
everything's pushing right in queen hasn't even been touched uh she did use the ability though uh king hasn't even used his ability though he's gonna rage it up any second but as you like look how much this base is taking care of so triggers that bomb with the hogs but boom he last heal is gonna go down here and take care of all of that no problem look at all these hogs barely lost a unit here like three wizards down there he's got so many hogs up still um think he's got I, I we got to do a valk count i don't know how many he's got left if he has any no maybe not i think the queen picked off a few and then he hit a spring but regardless still has tons of hogs up there doing cleanup beautiful job beautiful love this attack rob it's exactly what i would have done <laughs> maybe not with the cc troop combo there but that was cool uh one more chief kev where are you Made the highlight reel. Their little kind of max attack here. Goes ahead and drops the Earthquake. He's going to open up a big, big section in this base. Really just wants to get the CC troops, Archer Queen, and these air defense. Creating a huge, huge funnel. Going to go ahead and open up this section with some wall breakers here in a moment. And just kind of move everything down and straight into that uh, base at that Archer Queen. <clears throat> nice here the size of the funnel he's made because he's really allowed to he's already done a huge piece of the cleanup because of how big his funnel is gonna go ahead and drop his 15 15 uh, or he's already dropped his queen we're gonna go ahead and drop his king here any second now that the cc's under the poison boom there it goes rage goes down king's gonna walk right into that rage and walk right into that queen queen gets taken out in like one smack queen's working on that dragon now she's working on those air defense Really good value on this max attack, man. Going to just push right into that. Get that other cannon. Get that uh, air defense. Boom. Like all like a huge, huge piece. 35% and a big chunk of defenses is already taken out. So you're going to go ahead. And Kev goes ahead. Sends in his Lava Hounds. That first kind of air defense there. One, two, three. Very, very, very sparse on his loons. But knows exactly how many he needs to, to get exactly where he wants to go. <laughs> Everything's just going to push up in this ring. Last Lava Hound goes in on that top air defense. as um, It's not even targeting it, but there it goes. Um, now that that uh, other air defense is down, or other Lava Hound is down, uh, lots of balloons moving in on all these remaining defenses. Pretty much it is GG. That last Lava Hound bursts. He's even got a Golem in there tanking that Expo for him. His Queen still has not used the ability. She's about to rage it up just to kind of help push everything through here. GG. Chief Kev. The sexy max attack. Boom. All right. So, nice quick one. Um, just uploaded episode three of the base building series. So, I hope you guys are enjoying that. Uh, Kadok and I are going to continue on with that and just kind of continue to have these base building discussions and obviously uh, include all the content for you guys. And again, like I said, we're going to hopefully do some offensive stuff very soon. Uh, plus, we have kind of a new concept that uh, me and DWS and Big Bad John from Invicta are working on for DWS's Hog Rider series. Uh, so stay tuned for that because that sounds like a pretty interesting thing. Uh, for any of the clans applying to the hog rider series because uh i can't really say anything about it yet because we haven't really figured it all out yet but please just stay tuned because that's uh that sounds like a pretty cool thing coming up uh anyhow that should do it tonight for me guys uh that's your wisdom from wiser just trying to help you beg that next three star and until then i'm out